Hello my lovelies, Cassie, how's it all going? So, happy late International Women's Day! I, uh, I know it's a day late, but, you know, <laughs> I still wanted to mention it. Um, I also wanted to show you this gorgeous lady right here. And that's my mom. And she is by far the greatest woman I've ever known. Um, of course she had her flaws and our relationship wasn't, you know, picture perfect or anything by any means, but she was still just so amazing and not a day goes by that I don't miss her. Um, yeah, I, I have been thinking about her extra much lately and especially with, you know, April coming closer and closer and time just flying by, um, you know, it, it brings up a lot of memories and also for the Women's Day it's, you know, send her some thoughts about how much I admire her and how much I miss her and same with, you know, my my great grandma and um, my grandma as well well, my grandma is still alive, but you know um, I, I look up to all of them so much and they really mean the world to me and I am so, so grateful that I still have my grandma and I pray that I have her for many, many, many years. <laughs> Hopefully at least twice as long as I've had her so far. Um, yeah, I also found out that I... <laughs> it's. It's still so crazy to say, because I, I still have a hard time wrapping my mind around it, but I found an old picture <laughs> where she and I looked so alike and it's insane and, you know, to to think about that one day I will have a little girl and I wonder if she will look as much as me <laughs> you know we look so much alike and it's just insane to think about how you know how all that looks with jeans and everything is it's truly fascinating and I, 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 for once I could see so much of myself in mom and I guess it's the other way around really <laughs> I saw mom in me and you know I, I like for instance this is one of my favorite pictures and also one of my few pictures because she hated to <laughs> get her picture taken um, so I, I'm really lucky to even have that one and I even on that one I had a kind of hard time seeing our resemblance but then when I see certain pictures it's like whoa okay yeah we look a lot alike <laughs> the only difference is that I have lighter hair and you know light eyes and she had darker hair and really dark eyes. So I <laughs> and even that I find fascinating because my my grandma and my great grandma all have light hair and you know, light eyes. Uh, but my grandpa have dark hair and dark eyes. So it's really fun to see how genetics, you know mix and match <laughs> to make a new 
and I am so interested to see what my children will look like once I have them, um, whenever that is. And yeah, I um, I just thought it was interesting and really fascinating because no, I've always found stuff like that fascinating and it also makes me happy and you know even if you can find it really painful to see someone that you lost and love so much and look so much like you and you know you you see yourself in the mirror and like oh there they are and it can be really painful at times but at the same time it's so healing and so amazing really because they're living on through you and you get the honor to you know pass it on to your children if you want kids of course <laughs> not all of us do i suppose but i i definitely do and i I've always wanted children and I am one of those really blessed people who are absolutely adored by children and animals alike. <laughs> I don't, I, I th think I've said it before, I really don't know why they love and adore me so much but I am so, so blessed and grateful that they do because I love them just as much. <laughs> So, yeah, I, I really look forward to becoming a mom. But, yeah, I, um, I just wanted to take this moment of this little video to talk about these strong women in my life, and especially, you know, my mom and all that, um, to celebrate international Women's Day. Um, let's face it, every day should be that day. <laughs> um, every day should be everyone's day, really, because even those who have wronged us all have a place in the puzzle of our lives, and even without you know, and the people who have wronged us, without them there would be pieces missing, so really we do all connect one way or another and it's easy to forget but important to remember because it does get a bit easier that way to, you know, accept and heal all past trauma and everything because yeah what they did was absolutely wrong and there is definitely stuff that can't be forgiven um, but you just have to hold on to you know the thought of karma will get them and as much as it's definitely not okay and definitely, you know, was very bad, it did have a meaning one way or another. Like, yeah, it, for me, for instance, um, I'm trying to think of <laughs> what to pick, but um, let's just say one of my bullies. Um, if I hadn't been bullied, I wouldn't be who I am today, and I wouldn't be able to know and help as much as I can today. And by no means do that excuse the behavior, by no means do that, you know, it doesn't mean that I appreciate that behavior or wish it on someone. Um, it's not something that anyone should go through, but 
for me it does help you know seeing the light in the dark so if you are going through anything like it if you are getting you know whatever darkness you're facing just as hard as it is and I <laughs> really know how hard it can be but please 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 do your best to see the light and remember that you're not alone and even if it seems really really dark it will get better and it's okay to ask for help I myself am still working on that on the whole asking for help part um, I have always had a hard time asking for help and it's something I'm still working on but it gets better and I really hope that if you're going through darkness that you hang in there and reach out to me or anyone else that can help because you really are not alone and we have to help each other as much as we can so yeah I uh, I'm sorry that this video was maybe a bit all over the place <laughs> and everything um, but I just wanted to come on here and have a little chat because I I really miss you all and I really really hope that things go back to normal well actually no I don't want things to go back I want things to keep moving forward I just want it to become a little less stressful hectic I suppose <laughs> um, because really great things are happening and I'm just getting happier and happier and I just things are really looking up <laughs> so I'm really happy but at the same time it's a lot <laughs> so um, I want more of the good but preferably a little less stressful <laughs> um, but yeah I I know I said it last week probably but this week for real <laughs> I really hope that I will be back to more quote-unquote normal videos um, next week um, I don't remember exactly when the 17th are if it's next week or the week after I know don't have my calendar here but whenever the 17th have passed it should be calmer and I should be able to fully get back to more normal videos by then if I haven't already and I have quite a few plans <laughs> so I'm really excited to fully come back and yeah I have rambled for <laughs> <laughs> way too long already but as I said I just I miss you guys and wanted to check in I will post this video on both of my channels because there's just too much going on at the moment for me to do readings um, but readings should be back no later than past the 17th as well so yeah something to look forward to I suppose <laughs> and yeah I hope you're all doing well that you stay safe and healthy as always and that I see you next week thank you so much for tuning in and do feel free to like comment and subscribe you know only if you want to there's no pressure here and remember that you are so loved
are important and valued. I'll leave Simon there. No, not really. <laughs> so, see you next week. Much love. Ciao.